Hi everyone, welcome back to Indian Online School. Hope you all are doing great. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about SOF International English Olympiad Level 2 paper. So let's get started. So students, your IEO level 2 paper consists of 35 questions and this paper is for 40 marks and you will be given one hour's time to complete this paper. Now coming to the different sections of this paper, you will be finding three sections in this paper. The first section is called word and structure knowledge. In this section, you will be getting questions from grammar and vocabulary and each question carries one mark. Now let's go to the second section of this paper, which is called reading. Okay, here in this uh, section, you will be given passages. You have to read the passages carefully and you have to answer the questions that follow. And in this section also, each question carries one mark. And compared to the whole paper, this is going to be your easiest section. And you can score good marks. It is just that you have to read the passages carefully and you have to answer them correctly. Okay, now coming to the last section of this paper, it is called your achievers section. In this section, again, you will be getting questions from grammar and vocabulary. But in this section, you will be getting two marks for each question, unlike your previous two sections. So be careful while attempting this achievers section. Okay, so let's go back to our first section of this paper, that is your word and structured knowledge. So for questions one to 10, choose the correct option to complete each sentence. So the first question is, those who live in slum areas, slum areas means the areas of city with poor living condition. Okay, so those who live in slum areas are dashed to various types of diseases than those living in proper societies. So it can't be energetic. So when they don't have enough sufficient uh, 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 facilities available, so they can't be energetic. And then you have the second option as more prone, which means uh, like they're likely to suffer. Okay, so this could be your answer. So those who live in slum areas are more prone to various types of diseases than those living in proper societies. Okay, so option B is your correct answer. I saw dash kids nursing the wounds of a stray dog in my locality. So it cannot be much because it should be used before your uncountable noun. But kids, it is an uncountable noun. So this can't be your answer. More kids, I saw more kids nursing the wounds of a stray dog. We can, but when we are using the word more here, it means large group of kids. Okay, and that too for nursing a stray dog, so it can't be the appropriate one. So next, I saw a few kids nursing the wounds. Yes, this is the appropriate one. So we can use option C as our answer. I saw a few kids nursing the wounds of a stray dog in my locality. Again, it can't be lot because if you are using the word lot, you can use a lot of kids. Okay, but we don't have the proper option here. So it should be option C. I saw a few kids nursing the wounds of a stray dog. So option C is your correct answer. Now let's go to the second, third question. It dash a long time since we dash soccer with our friends. So when you have the word since, so you should use this in your present perfect tense. Okay, so it has been a long time since we played soccer with our friends. So it's option D. Next. Okay, so the next question is, he really dashes German before going to Germany for a year. So it should be brush up on means to improve your existing knowledge about something. Fall off means to cancel something. Bump into means to meet somebody unexpectedly. And check into is means to register yourself on arriving a particular place. It could be hotel, airport, okay, anything like that. So it should be option A. He really brushed upon his German. It's like he improved his knowledge. Okay, so he 
really brush upon his not a uh, German before going to Germany for a year. Okay, it's option A here. He is not my friend. We dash cross cross paths with each other. Cross paths means to meet somebody. Okay, like unexpectedly. So here he is not my friend. We seldom cross paths with each other. So option C is your correct answer. Sia is proficient in speaking both. Sia is proficient in speaking both dash English and dash French. So here we are talking about languages. So before languages, we don't need any article. So it should be no article before English and no article before French. Okay, so it's option D. I dash not ask my mother about going out today because she dash angry with me. When she is angry, it's definitely I dare not ask my mother about going out today because she is angry. Okay, so it's option C here. Next. Dash, are you going to do with dash information? I hope it is useful for you. It should be. Why are you going to do? No. What are you going to do? Yes. What are you going to do with this information? I hope it is useful for you. Yes, it could be option B. The beautiful architectural dash of the hotel gave it a vintage look. So it should be the beautiful architectural embellishments. Embellishment means it's like decorations. Okay, economy, it can't be economy. So economy is like saving money or time, something like that. And euphoric means like expressing your, uh, what do you say, happiness or uh, excitement. Okay, so that can't be your answer. And eloquent means uh, to be able to use a language uh, well. Okay, so it can't be your answer again. So it should be option A, embellishments of the hotel gave it give it a vintage look next the partition of india dash caused destruction dash spread hatred among the among all the communities so here it should be the partition of india not only caused destruction but also spread hatred among all the communities so it should be the correlative conjunction pair not only but also okay for questions 11 and 12 choose the correct option for the underlined word she herself prepares dinner for her family every day so here what is herself a reflexive pronoun emphatic possessive or relative so when you have self or self suffixed words definitely it falls either in reflexive or emphatic pronouns right but when it is appearing immediately about after the subject so that must be your emphatic pronoun okay emphatic pronoun again it ends with self or selves at the end and it appears immediately after the subject okay so it is option b an emphatic pronoun our school organizes a quiz competition every year so every year means annually so it's option d now for questions 13 and 14 choose the correct spelling how do you spell the word that means on the surface it's called superficial s-u-p-e-r-f-i-c-i-a-l okay so it's option a how do you spell the word that means particular about details it's called Meticulous. It's option D. M E T I C U L O U S. Okay, so option D is your correct answer. Now let's go to the next question. For questions 15 and 16, choose a part of the sentence that has an error. Her friends are jealous for her success in the prestigious competition. So it should not be for her. It should be her friends are jealous of her success so we have an error in this part of the sentence okay so it's given in the option b jealous for her next you have the old man could not remember where he deposited his money 
So when it is given as could not, it must be in past. Okay. So it should be where he deposited his money. Okay. So it's given in the option C. Now for question 17 and 18, choose the correct antonym. Antonym means you have to find the opposite of the given word. Evacuate. Okay. So what do you mean by evacuate? Evacuate means to leave a place. Okay. Or to move people from a dangerous place to a safer place. Okay. So, here you have the options like displace, occupy, desert or vacate. So, definitely it's option B, occupy. Okay. Evacuate is to move people from dangerous place to a safer place. And occupy is the opposite of this given word. So now you have the next word as obscure. Obscure means obscure means something that is not very clear or something that is not well known. Okay. So for that, the answer, the opposite uh, is apparent. Okay. Apparent means something that is clearly visible. Okay. That's option D. Your answer for the given word obscure. Next, you have for questions 19 and 20, choose the correct synonym of the given word. So you have to find the same meaning word. Contented. Contented means feeling or expressing happiness or satisfaction. Okay. So here it can be the option C, satisfied. Okay. Trivial means it's like making some, uh, uh, something known to others okay and exhausted like extremely tired and reserved means it's like save for something okay next you have placid it means to calm okay it's not enjoyable agitated means like worried or uh frustrated and dull means like not active okay so it's option a calm so with this we have completed the first section now let's go to the second section of this paper that is reading and this section is the easiest of all the sections in this paper so read the, read it carefully and answer the questions correctly okay for questions 21 to 25 read the passage and answer the questions that follow once you read the passage you can easily answer all these questions okay so choose the most suitable title or heading for the passage so it is about Michael Jackson, an inspiring sensation. Okay, so option C is your correct answer for this question. What happened in the year 1969? In the year 1969, Jackson signed a contract with Motown Records. Okay, so it's option B. Which paragraph talks about the solo career of Michael Jackson? Okay, so it's the... Paragraph 3. Okay, it's option D here. Now, Dash was the best-selling album of the year 1979. So, it is uh, off the wall. Okay, so option A is your correct answer. Now, what does the word inducted mean in the final, in the fifth paragraph? Inducted means to introduce a... Uh, like it's to introduce a new member into a group or organization. Okay, so it is option C, introduced. So with this, we have completed the first passage. Now let's move to the second passage of this section. For questions 26 to 30, read the passage and answer the questions that follow. So this passage is all about the earthquakes okay so choose the most suitable title or heading for the passage it is option d earthquake which of the following cannot ca cause earthquakes the movement of molten rock beneath a volcano the digging of mines the rotation of the moon around the sun yes this can't be the cause for your earthquake okay so it is option c the rotation of the moon around the Earth. Next, which paragraph explains the effects of earthquakes? It is explained in the fourth paragraph. So it's option B. 
The instrument used to record the shock waves in an earthquake is called a seismograph. Okay, so it is option A. The antonym of the word trigger in the third paragraph is, you have to find out the opposite of trigger. Trigger means to activate something. Okay, and for that, the opposite could be prevent. Okay, so option B is your correct answer. Now with this, we have completed the second section as well. So now let's move to the third section of this paper that is achievers section. So for questions 31 and 32, choose the correct option to complete each sentence. The rules of the game were dash, but you still cheated us, which is highly inappropriate. So it should be apparent, which means clearly visible. The rules of the game were clearly visible or very much clear, but you still cheated us. Okay. So here it is option A. Okay. So like if you consider these options like ascertain, it means to make sure of. Okay. So this is not the correct one. Afflict means like to cause somebody to suffer pain, sadness, something like that. Okay. So again, this can't be the correct answer. And appointed means like appropriate. So even this is not uh, the correct one for this given sentence. So it is apparent. Okay. It's option A, your correct answer. Next, the enemies laid down dash in front of the Indian army. So we have uh, an idiom like laid down their arms. It means it's like to stop fighting and give up one's weapons. Okay, so it is option C. The enemies laid down their arms in front of the Indian army. Next, Choose the part of the sentence that has an error again. So all the employees of the company are requiring to submit their identity proofs. So we don't say like that. It should be all the employees of the company are required to submit. It should be in the form required. Okay, so it is the option C, which is showing the error in the given sentence. Okay, next. Choose the correct Synonym of the given word, gullet. Gullet means it's like uh, the tube through which the food passes from your mouth to the stomach. Okay, so it is option B, throat. Okay, so now the last question is choose the correct antonym that is opposite of the given word, derogatory. What do you mean by derogatory? It means expressing lack of respect okay towards somebody so for that it can't be covetous okay covetous means again uh, it's like uh, being greedy or having a strong desire for wealth okay so this can't be your answer complimentary complimentary yes it could be your answer which means expressing respect okay a prize uh, like praising okay so it should be option B. So the opposite of derogatory is complementary. So students, with this, we have completed our IEO level 2 paper.